Hello guys, I am your friend Teaching Guru and today we are going to learn about web behavior. This topic is very important for competitive examinations and many students are confused on the topics in the topics like uh, reflection, refraction, uh, diffraction and scattering. So we will learn about these topics in this lecture. So let's begin this lecture. First, what is the physics of wave the physics of wave all wave follow the laws of physics no matter what type okay uh, there is no dependence on the matter of the, uh, the wave but all of the, the uh, waves follow the law of physics wave can be reflected refracted diffracted absorbed scattered and ex experience interference these topics are very important reflection refraction diffraction absorption scattering and interference okay so first of all the reflection 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 happens when a wave bounces off an obstacle and there are two types of uh, wave that is specular reflection and second one is diffuse reflection first specular reflection happens on smooth surface and in this reflection, angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. And the second one is diffuse reflection. That happens on the rough surface. In this, angle of incidence not equal to angle of reflection. Reflection in all direction because the angle of incidence varies over the surface due to its roughness. Okay. So what is the law of reflection? The law of reflection is the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection that is normal to the surface okay here is the that is the incident ray and that is the refracted ray when the ray uh, when the ray uh, strike that reflecting surface and rebound back in the with the same angle at which the ray was incident okay here angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection and this is the normal to the surface okay the next one that is the specular and diffuse reflection this is this is the example okay the specular reflection and diffuse in the specular reflection these are uniform you can see in the diagram and in this these in this diagram the diffuse diffuse reflection in the diffuse reflection the, the incident ray is uniform but the refraction reflection reflected ray is different and the angle between uh, these are not equal okay the angle reflection the reflection there are many types of reflection and many examples of reflection like an echo when when you uh, an echo is an example of reflection and when you speak in a uh, blank room in a hollow room your sound or sound wave rebounds to the walls of the that room and you hear the echo of your sound okay the echo is also example of reflection the second one is radar 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 uses this principle determine to determine the size and the characteristic and distance of an object this radar is used in many uh, equipments and many defense equipments also okay and then next one is refraction refraction occurs uh, when waves move from one medium to another medium the medium can be uh, rarer or de denser both okay so when a uh, wave occur uh, when the wave move from one medium to into another or within a medium like air that varies in density or temperature okay that mother it means that the from, there will be difference in density and temperature between first medium and the second medium or incident medium or refracted medium okay and in this uh, in this uh, process the wave bends toward the normal when they move from denser medium to when they move from less denser me medium that is rarer medium to denser medium this line is very important when the ray move from rarer medium to denser medium it it bends toward the normal you, here you can see and when uh, it's a move from 
denser to rare it goes away from the normal okay the, and the third point waves bend away from the normal when the opposite is true okay now uh, let us know about the snell's law of refraction that is s n1 sin theta 1 and is equal to n2 sin theta 2 okay sin theta 1 is the angle of uh, angle of uh, angle between the normal and the refract uh, incidence incident ray okay n1 is the refractive index okay n1 and 2 are the refractive index of both the medium medium 1 and medium 2 okay and sin theta 1 and sin theta 2 that is the angle between the theta 1 is the angle between the normal and the uh, incident ray and theta 2 is the angle between the normal and the refracted ray okay now the index of refraction that is n is equal to c by b okay where and if uh, in general purpose the refractive index of air is taken to be 1 but here is 1.003 and the water is 1.33 and the of vacuum is pure one okay n is equal to c by v c is the speed of light and v is the velocity of that ray okay now second second uh, we will go to the next slide that is index of ref refraction redux okay n is equal to psi u mu si is equal to electrical permittivity and mu is equal to magnetic permittivity if you have learnt about uh, electrical and magnetic field you will you will able to understand this okay what is atmospheric refraction atmospheric refraction is the gradual curve of light from stars and sun okay to the earth okay when any the rays from the sun in, in, enters our earth's atmosphere it bends and that is called atmospheric refraction okay and then next topic is dispersion dispersion the index of refraction of real materials actually depends on the frequency of light being bent okay the dispersion is the example for rainbows each color has its own frequency each gets slowed down differently and each comes at different angle it's the perfect example of uh, when a uh, uh, when a white light strikes on the prism it uh, it splits into vibgar colors vibgar color means rainbow colors okay this uh, uh, this question can be asked the splitting of white light in the uh, through the prism is called what the, and this is called a dispersion okay and the next one is diffraction 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 waves that have longer wavelengths or lower frequency diffract better than higher frequency wave that is the rule of diffraction and the second one is diffraction patterns are determined by both the size of the opening and the wavelength okay we are uh, uh, we are uh, supposing that you will un uh, you are uh, understanding this we are only taking the quick view of this topic so i am not uh, explaining you in you this in detail if you want to uh, re study about this in detail there are fur um, further more videos on this channel you can w watch it okay and the next topic is absorption 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 happens when the medium has the ability to absorb the energy of the wave when the wave is absorbed its energy is transferred to the medium and the wave is gone and the gradual absor absorption as the wave penetrates medium is called attenuation attenuation is also called as repetition okay repetition of wave and the last one is the absorption of only specific frequency will leave gaps in the continuing wave spectrum called spectral absorption line okay this uh, line is very important for competitive exam that is what is spectral absorption line okay
spectral absorption line I, i as i have told you earlier that this this line this topic is very important absorption for competitive examination like uh, j mains and j advance absorption line they can ask to you they can ask you the frequency of these spectral lines okay okay then we will go to the next slide that is absorption absorption at the quantum level happens when individual photon has the exact energy that correspond to the to an energy gap between two energy states of the medium and the type of energy gap correspond directly to the frequency of photon okay now we'll learn about scattering scatter if the photon is absorbed and then reemitted immediately it is called to be scattered or it is said to be scattered when the light is scattered it dependent on the frequency of light and the size of particle it is scattering from some of the energy of light is absorbed by the scatterer and the, so the reemitted light has a little less energy let's uh, know more about uh, scattering that is if the photon has a larger wavelength than the size of scattering particle this is called rayleigh scattering rayleigh scattering this point is also important that is please underline in your notebook if you are writing that rayleigh scattering if the photon has a larger uh, longer wavelength than the size of the scattering particle it is called rayleigh scattering in rayleigh scattering the very long wavelength light is hardly scattered at all but the shorter wavelength is much more strongly scattered since blue light is much shorter than red it gets more scattered by the molecules of in the air and therefore the sky is blue and if you know in many traffic signal there is red red because red light very uh, scatters very less now next topic is interference interference when two or more wave waves come together they superimpose or add together the total amplitude is simply the sum or positive or negative of all the individual amplitude the extreme of what can happen are called constructive inter- interference and destructive interference these are very important the constructive interference and destructive in- interference and this is the example of constructive and destructive algebra algebraic addition when two constructive waves come together in same phase they they form this type of wave when two destructive uh, wave comes in the, this and they when they are in summation this is this type of wave is formed that is straight line and when partially constructive and non coherent signal that is called noise okay this uh, this uh, diagram is very important for examination point of view now we will learn about young double slit experiment young double slit experiment is that the light diffracting through two slits produce fringes on a screen bright fringes are the area of constructive interference dark fringes fringes are the area of destructive interference okay guys i i hope you have learned more about interference and many other topics and this, this is the uh, figure of interference fringe that is the series of bright and dark bands some white some white sometimes straight sometimes circular and sometimes complicated okay this is the uh, picture of interference fringe Okay guys I hope you have uh, taken the quick view of these topics these topics are very important for the uh, competitive examination and I hope that you have learned about this in previous if you not uh, learn about these topics I will give you uh, all the details about every topic this was the only the quick view of these topics okay if you like the video please like share and subscribe okay Thank you